here's the shot uh, from underneath the car of our clutch servo. Now this is the one in our auto stick. It is holding a vacuum. It is working. Uh, we do have a second one that we have out on the bench and we're going to show you how to bench test your clutch servo to make sure your bladder is uh, still holding a vacuum. So for the purpose of our test, we are showing you with a unit. We have a spare unit removed out of the car. Um, to do the test, what you want to do is pull, pull your servo clutch rod out as far. So the diaphragm, you can see through these holes, the rubber diaphragm is expanded all the way. Now if I plug that good enough, there should be no air leakage and the diaphragm shouldn't go back. But this one goes back. And if Sean gets the camera close enough here, So I'm not sure if the camera will pick up that sensitivity, but we can actually hear the air leak. So this unit, it has the original band on it. So when you buy the aftermarket kit, you get a new diaphragm and you get a new band that clamps on with a bolt. So we obviously, if we wanted to use this, would peel this band off, put in the new diaphragm, put the new band on. So we probably will end up getting a new diaphragm prepping this one up as a spare to have on site because this one is no good. So that's how you test your clutch servo. So since this unit is, well, it needs a new diaphragm, we're gonna open it up just to get a better internal look at the diaphragm and what's inside. So before I hurt myself, I'm now gonna grab some pliers. Now that we've got it started, we put it in a vise and then we actually just kind of peel it around. It's a little easier than using the pliers. There you go. So I imagine it's still a little stuck being as old as it is. There you go. So here is remember obviously how your spring went in. So now that we have it apart, you can see our test was accurate or confirmed the rips. So look at, we had, this one had rips all the way around. So this diaphragm is done. Now how the diaphragm is held in, you have this 27 mil holding this back plate and the front plate pinch the rubber around here. Basically, you get a new rubber, it goes on there, pinch it back together, put it in there, pinch, put your spring back on, that loop loops around one of your nuts, and bolt this back on, and then use your, your new clamp that will go around the outside. So it's a pretty easy fix. It's pretty common on auto sticks. Mm -hmm. So we've come back to our vise. We locked the one end in the vise, got our 27 mil socket and it's not a very big nut head. Okay. So obviously we've taken that apart. It is a special acorn style nut to center itself properly. So now everything is seized together. There we go. So you can see how your diaphragm fits on. Everything back the way it was. There you go. Order yourself a new diaphragm and you're good to go. Thanks. All right, so that was an in-depth look at your clutch servo on your auto stick Volkswagen. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you out there.